Hey YouTube, um, figured it's about time I got something on here. Um, been real busy, real busy. I uh, haven't had much time to work on anything. Uh, lost my brakes on my vehicle. They went out on me. I uh, nearly rolled over my vehicle. It got a hole in the line, and man, it just lost pressure just right away. So made it through that. It's in the shop. I tried to fix it myself, and it was just so hard to get to. And been doing a bunch of other stuff, and busy, and work, you know, all that stuff. So, I have been working on something. This car here, <clears throat> this is old. This is a, this kit is from 75, and the car is older than that. And, or the, I'm pretty sure it is. <clears throat> well, I can tell it's pretty old, because it needs a lot of work, you know, compared to some of the new models. Yeah, I think everybody's built this car by now. In fact, I built this car before a long time ago, I remember, building it. That was back in the days where I didn't paint anything. You know, the engine was red and, and, or black or whatever. And, anyway, but I figured something easy, something not too expensive, just kind of get back in the groove of building cars. <clears throat> his instructions. I mean, they're all yellowed. And, you know, the decals that were really worth keeping. Um, and then I've got some paint on it. So, they ended up doing a bunch of sanding on it and filling. and There was a lot of really heavy seams going down around it and all down in the really hard to get to places. And, I mean, some really big seams. And little sink areas and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I just wouldn't. But normally, back in the old day, I wouldn't have cared. But now I'm trying to do a little better job and get nice paint jobs and stuff. So it's just sitting on the wheels there. Piece of something on it. I've been debating on the the stance if I'm gonna, you know, do the, you know, the street machine thing or. One thing I don't like is that the rear wheels are kind of a little bit small. And if I do stick with the wheels, it may look better if I kind of lower it down, kind of more, less of a, a gasser look to it. I might try that. It wouldn't take much to do. Or find some wheels. There's the hood. Not sure on the hood if I'm going to what I'm going to do with that, if I'm going to, I might put that scoop in and paint it the same color. I don't, I don't know about the clear hood scoop. And uh, I started on the engine a little bit. I got the main part of it together. Just sort of a Chevy orange. Painted the filter and little doodads on it. And, uh, I guess that's a starter. I even, even went in and kind of like put dots on the bolt heads and stuff just to give it just a little something. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm going to go with that blower, supercharger, whatever it is. Yeah, go with that look. And I like the chrome valve covers with the, and I, I put some little black wash in it. I don't know if you can, if it'll focus. Uh, what else? That's about it. Well, I worked on the bottom a little bit too. I, I decided to go ahead and fill in all those little dimples and stuff. Wasn't nothing to it really. So, I primed it and then it all kind of stood out a little bit. So I went ahead and filled them up and sanded them. And I don't know what I'm going to paint on the bottom. Maybe, I was thinking like, maybe painting it like metal. You know, aluminum or something metal. And then paint the frame black, and or something like that, or maybe just paint it flat black, and then paint the frame like gloss black or something. Not too, you know. I'm, this is I'm just practicing as much as I'm building this car. I'm also just practicing some things too. Uh, interior haven't done anything other than sprayed some primer in it. Um, I guess it'll have like some. I had to change colors in midstream, so I'm kind of, that's why I'm not sure what I'm doing, because 
I was going to go with this pearl copper color. And uh, so I thinned it down real good and I was spraying it. Well, I guess I thinned it too much because no matter how much I mixed it and everything, it was just spraying out gold flakes and leaving that orange was floating on top. And uh, so the whole car was just gold. Like it looked like a trophy or ingot or something. So it was just too much, too uh, particle gold looking. So I had to shift gears in midstream, and I put after I put a coat of that on, I went to the, I just grabbed, found some of this green I had. It's uh, pearl lime. And this, and sprayed that, which I like, it looks good, man. It glows, and I ain't got no clear coat on it or anything. That's just, I just painted it about an hour ago. But I think I'm going to, might even experiment a little further and do like the two-tone type paint job on it like with a white or a, or a pearl this is actually a chameleon color so it has like a chameleon from pearl to a, a green I don't think it'll show maybe you know but when the light hits it a certain way it, it puts off a green that's almost the same green as that as the car so I might do that you know like a white pearlish white so it's going to be it'll look more like a show type car than a a racing car, I think, when I get through with it. <laughs> but, anyway, that's where I'm at. Not a whole lot of progress, but I actually did put a lot of work into that body, trying to uh, having to sand it and scuff it up and fix all the little blemishes. In fact, it was so bad right around this door up here on each side. It was like two different levels to the plastic. And then it was hardly even a, a groove there for the door. And then by the time I smoothed all that out on each side, there was no groove. So I went back and kind of just had to, I took a scriber and tried to put that, that door line back in there. Because I thought it might look, just wouldn't look right without it. So that took a while to do and do right. Um, but that's good. It's good practice. It came out pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it. It actually worked out pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I haven't even started painting anything else. I've got some parts cut out and cleaned up and stuff. But there ain't really a whole lot of parts to it. Um, and I think I might strip some of the chrome things. Um, like maybe even this blower. I mean, there's, uh, blowers usually just polished chrome like that. You know, I may strip it and do it just more of a, a realistic metal finish on some of this stuff. And then like these ladder bars. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll... I'd almost rather just strip those and paint them a... I know on my old Nova I had, they were yellow. Uh, but maybe paint them a different color or something just to kind of knock down some of the... bling. I mean, it's already got enough bling to it already <laughs> with the green. So, yeah, I just kind of decide as I go. I got stuck changing colors in midstream, so it's kind of changed my plans here. And there's the grill. I put some wash in there and kind of to try to, you know, bring out the grill a little better. Uh, I mean, I'd like to, there's an aftermarket kit for this, but I don't want to spend too much on, it, on, you know, the first kit that I've built in forever. Um... And that's about it for my update. About all I can think of. Just trying to get the time to keep working on it. It's I have just a little bit of time in the evenings usually. Not much. You know, I've been gone all day and into the night. So, But it's relaxing. I enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll update when I get a little more done. And I'll talk to you all later.